A great deal of problems at the fledgling stage of the new theory lies in the pond digging phase because it is cost intensive, while topsoil has to be reserved. Otherwise, it will be lost at the plot of land is filled. For this reason, assistance has to come in from the government sector. Mr. Tawi Praha, formerly a wage earner in Bangkok, is among those receiving help from the government sector. Before that, I used to get hired hands to help me carry blocks of soil to build my own weir. That was in 87, 88, 89. We worked the whole night through. People said I must be crazy. With determination and perseverance on his part, the money invested by the government sector at that time did bear fruit. The profit gained is evident in the upgraded quality of life for the farmer and his family. It is partly true to what His Majesty once said. Our loss is our gain. It's far better than money which can be exhausted. What he gave us is perfect. I know I will never be poor again. You should come back sometime next month. Here, where we just remove topsoil, I will grow straw mushroom and also make compost. In calculating the appropriate dimensions of the pond to store rainwater, a few variables will have to be taken into consideration. Each plot of land differs in terms of the climate and the terrain. Suppose you live in Nontaburi. 10% for farm pond will suffice because there's plenty of water in Nontaburi and you can set aside more space for cultivation. That, in turn, will generate higher income. But if you live in Pimai and your farms are based on the new theory concept, even 30% will not be enough. The whole of the northeast is arid. The period of zero rainfall can last up to six or seven months, so you'd better set aside 40 to 50 percent. Given decades of work experience, His Majesty is well aware of the fact that in some instances the period of zero rainfall can last longer than a year. To have a farm pond in their own plot of land does not ensure a risk-free resolution. The comprehensive royal-initiated new theory, therefore, calls for at least two larger-sized water resources, which will feed the small-sized farm pond. Water for farming, based on the new theory, approached on 4,600 rai plot of land in Khao Wong Kalasin, is supplied by Upper Lampayang Reservoir under a royal-initiated project. With the expansion of cultivation, His Majesty initiated a project to deliver excess water from Huai Pai Reservoir in Muktahan, which had not been fully utilized, to cultivate a 12,000 rai plot of land more in Kalasin. According to His Majesty's initiation, the reservoir was able to feed farm pond through a pipeline system with a control device to regulate water right at the pond itself. To facilitate cultivation in the vicinity of Wat Mong Khan, Chai Patana, Saraburi province, His Majesty initiated a project to build the medium-sized Huai Hin Khao Reservoir to feed farm ponds in the area, while Huai Hin Khao Reservoir is fed in turn by a large reservoir at the Ba Sak Jolasid Dam. The project thus provides a double immunity system. Water supply from Huai Hin Khao Reservoir to feed farm ponds was enabled through water delivery pipelines, which has been laid underground. Suppose an irrigation canal were to pass through your plot of land. It would cover roughly one-third of your land. You would earn no profits, having only the remaining two-thirds. But if you owned a 20 rye plot of land, you wouldn't be much disturbed. His Majesty's initiation has sidestepped these issues completely. With the water pipelines in the ground, the problems no longer existed. Although the theory of pond digging between rows of crop has long been the common practice, the new theory was formulated out of His Majesty's calculations, which took into account the size of water supply for each crop, the rate of evaporation, which should be corresponding to that of water to be replenished by medium and large size reservoirs. On the average, the required storage capacity for off-season cultivation is 1,000 cubic meters per rye. Statistics showed that water stored in a farm pond 4 meters deep on a 3 rye plot of land evaporates at the average rate of 1 centimeter per day. 
Thus, given a 300-day period of zero rainfall in a year, the water level in the pond will drop by three meters. What would be the most effective way to prevent as much evaporation as possible? The calculations involved the appropriate depth of a pond. Besides, His Majesty took into account also the rate of daily evaporation, how it was accelerated with strong winds. Trees were to be planted all round the pond to decelerate evaporation as well as give it shade from the sun. Water plants were also to be grown there, also as a means to prevent evaporation. His Majesty always concentrated on maximum use of the water. Fundamentals to the royal initiated new theory were derived from His Majesty's development work, whereby complex mathematic and scientific calculations were made and then transformed into guidelines, phrased in practical terms to enhance farmers' easy understanding. I heard His Majesty saying that the new theory was possible on a 15 rye plot of land. I constantly watched TV. That was how I came to know the ratio to use was 30, 30, 30, 10. I started right away by putting up my land for the experiment. They invested the funds. I did the work.